that, is that lens clean? Uh, yeah, because the number 12, that's a spiritual number, right? Did I just showed you how the six point star is actually a cube? Look at uh, it has, how many sides does a cube have? That got 12 sides, right? Look at a, uh, a, a die or dice. It goes up to, uh, what, 12? And what, what number wins the dice game? Seven. <laughs> Seven, wow. What's your boy? What's, uh, you ever watch Dave Chappelle? Yeah. yeah. What you know about what you know about seven? What is it? You heard your boy on Dave Chappelle? He was shooting dice. That was uh, Eddie Irvin. He's like, what you know about seven? Yeah, that's funny. What you know? And that Ashley Larry came up in that motherfucker. Seven. What you know about seven? Yeah. Oh, here you go. I'm about to take your pen. Oh, shit, man. Oh shit. That's crazy, ain't it? Oh, that's crazy. Where the hell did you come from? Alright, that's just like you from. Where the hell did you come from? 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 Where the a fumble for dumb ass. Oh, yeah, she needs help. That bitch, she a bitch, man. Well, at least she didn't start. She was a bitch. No, she was trying to be sarcastic. Oh, uh, probably was. But you know, you got a lot of those country girls, they claim to be Christian. And she's a Christian, why you wear some tight ass pants? Right. I can see your, you know what I mean? My freaking jaw drop when I see that fat ass and your pussy and your legs and all that. You lose your mind when you see women rock around half naked. Especially if you're not a fan. Especially if you're not a fan. Well, all these guys out here are faggots. They're all faggots, right? Almost every other dude, but actually probably two thirds of them are fucking faggots. Actually, that's what the Lord said, actually. The two thirds of Israel are fucking homosexuals. And then all of Esau, they're all faggots. All these goddamn people. <laughs> and it says in the law, <laughs> y'all get it. Christian, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. You're, you're a Christian, huh? I'm a Christian. A Christian means anointed. The, the Lord never anointed a faggot or a horse woman. Never, not once. Well, yeah, the Pope, yeah. Everybody knows that the Catholic Church is molesting the hell out of them little boys. Just like the Jews. Because you know the Pope is actually a Jew. He's a crypto Jew. That's why he wears the little, the yarmulke, the little Juden hat. You know what I'm saying? You notice that? The Pope wear a Jew hat? Yeah. And he's a fucking Jew. He a goddamn Edomite. Did uh, Islam can't be uh, Catholic? Yeah, it's just all connected, bro. Islam, the Catholic Church, uh, Freemasonry is all connected. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. It's all interwoven. The whole system, bro. It's a system that works together just like the body whole system works together. You know what I mean? That's why the wickedness don't fucking break up the whole system working against your ass. You know? This is di the diarrhea and shits out the people. <laughs> you know? For, for, you know? Yeah. What's the word in that? Acknowledging? Uh, you can use? Yeah. yeah. The system shits out all this diarrhea and people. Man, so that's why the government give all the churches a, a tax is in status. They're essentially part of the government. And what is it? <laughs> I was watching a video on YouTube. We got some... some huh? Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. You got the cup, man. Nah. Oh, I, 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 you can drink out of it. I don't give a fuck. Do it like we get out of the jungle. I heard that. Well, I was, I was about to say something. I was watching some video on YouTube today and some brother was on there. He's like, yeah, the same motherfuckers that, that own the prisons own the schools. Why don't you run over and get some cocktails? What is that? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Big that little back cup. Why don't you just buy some waters? Yeah. Hey, I got my germs all up in that already. I ain't got no water. Yeah, it's like six waters. Oh, okay, cool. I appreciate it, okay. Thanks, man. Shit, give me six beers. God, that's <laughs> Hey, Yeah, six pack, boy. Two little, two little things about. Hey. Hey, that's like when you get a... Uh, that's why when you get a 12-pack of beer, 
That, that's just like the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 ounce cans. So you know that shit was made for Israelites. <laughs> you know <what> I mean. <laughs> right, right, right. Goes Leonard. Huh? Goes Leonard. Ain't no Leonard out this motherfucker. Where he at? No, that was his fake name at Schmidt. Oh, that, that dude. That, 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 that shouted out uh, how you gonna say something the Lord's name in vain. Oh, oh no. my God damn. Yeah, that was the fact that's it. I thought he was talking about my homie Leonard, the uh, reptilian shapeshifter. You want to take off with the 20 and not come back? <laughs> uh, I know where he lives. Nah, he ain't going to do that. <laughs> I know, I'm just... Hey, oh, he told me, he's like, man, I was gonna, I'm going to cut my hair. He's, he's like, still twisting it, though. He's like, I'm going to cut it this weekend. Look at him today, just go. I told him I got a pair of clippers at the house, bro. I got bro. a pair, too. I got a pair with... I got some, You got guards, too. Yep. If you know, you can... Cut it yeah. short. What do you mean cut it? I don't even take mine down. I use the number two. I use the number two and just. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd take it all the way down. My head be all ashy. Ah! The ashy ass head. <laughs> what do we have, boy? Oh, shit, I was about to read the faggot scripture. Oh, okay. okay. We was talking about these fucking disgusting ass, filthy faggots. Vile, vile, these vile infections that's walking around. Vile infections. You can't, yeah, man, this shit's disgusting, man. Man, that's fucking crazy, man. That, that's fucking bizarre, man, how it's an act. This is the world we're living in, and, and these faggots are literally walking around free. I got a scripture. Free. We're not a scare in their without fear in their mind. Yeah, let me get them one thing at a time. Let me get this faggot scripture, man. Uh, I can't even think straight, man. What's wrong with you? Oh, no, I'm, I'm just pissed the fuck off. Bro. Right. Hold on. Feel like Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. What? Their blood shall be upon them. You know the Bible said put faggots to death? That's in the Holy Bible. Yeah, the Bible said put a faggot to death. But in America, a faggot will get rights. They'll get extra benefits. They'll get a good job. You know what I'm saying? If you put on your resume, I'm a faggot and I suck dick, you get the job. You know what I'm saying? I mean, pretty much. Because you, you ain't going to get no... Uh, if you get a real good job, if you want to get a promotion, you're going to have to suck your boss's dick. You're going to do some faggot shit. If you want to make it in the music industry, you got to be a faggot. You got to suck some old Jews' cock. That's a fact. All right, there's many people that come out in the music industry and done spill the beans on them damn devils, man. If you want to be a famous actor, you got to be a faggot. That's why that director, Brian Singer, director of X-Men, got caught raping little boys. Because all the actors in Hollywood are all faggots. Every last one of them. That's why Dave Chappelle said he quit acting. Because they try to make him wear a dress in a movie. That's how Dave Chappelle's own mouth. This ain't no conjecture. This ain't no making shit up. He's on Oprah saying it. So if you want to be famous, you got to suck dick. You got to be a faggot. Okay? That's a fact. From the whole fucking world. You know how the world loves Jay Chappelle. Yeah. Everybody tuned in to that shit. They didn't tune in when they saw it on YouTube. Yeah. Fucking faggot. And Dave Chappelle's a goddamn Muslim. <laughs> what a fucking waste. Man, what a fucking waste. That's why I'm so goddamn mad because on the way up here, it took me two hours to get here. And when I'm driving down the street, half the people you see driving are goddamn Muslims. Bitches wearing that whole Muslim garb. Oh, man. Looking like they came straight out of goddamn Saudi Arabia. There's Muslims all over the fucking place, man. We should be putting these motherfuckers to death, man. Look at this. I see a motherfucking Muslim driving today in a nice-ass car. On both sides of the car had Quran scriptures. They all got nice vehicles. Yeah. They all got right. money. The right. government will give a Muslim money. And they shipping Muslims in here by the million. I, Columbus soon is going to look like goddamn Mecca. A motherfucking Pakistan. Or, and none of these people got any problem with it. No. None of these black people got a problem with it. No. None of these dumbass white people got a problem with it. No. None of them. They act like nothing's wrong with Muslims all over the goddamn place. 
But here is the Muslims want to kill you. You stupid motherfuckers. But when the Lord gives us that power, we're going to be putting all these Muslims to death. When the Lord gives us that power, if you a Muslim, you get put to death. She, 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 got done. she just got her ass nah, right now. That's, that's what porn of, bro. Come on. She's doing porn. She got her asshole blown out for a couple of G's. Oh, She's got water. Right. Oh yeah, I got water. Let me read this right here. This is on, you know, why we out here judging and this kind of shit. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 12 and uh, 18. Yeah, um, but thou, mastering thy power, judges with equity, and orders us with great favor, for thou mayest use power when thou wilt. But by such works hast thou taught thy people that the just man should be merciful, and has made thy children to be a good hope, that thou givest repentance for sin. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, being a Muslim, that's a goddamn sin. Because a lot of our people call on themselves Muslims. You know what I'm saying? That's not why we ain't going to kill nobody either. You know we would like to put you to death, and we would like to chop your fucking head off. We ain't going to do that. For as thou didst punish the enemies of thy children, and to be condemned to death for such deliberation. What's up? Oh, he's reading a scripture. I'll tell you in a second. Oh, my fault. I see you over there shaking your head. No, I was like, that dude looked like he just came from the Comic Con, and then I look in his hand, he got a handful of comic books. Oh, they got a Comic Con going on? No, uh, he just probably got some comic books from this story. Oh, uh, my fault. Go ahead, read that again from the top. You know, these motherfuckers are always into some childish any fucking thing. Dude, like. Mm -hmm. I was driving past the comic book store on Morris Road the other day, and it was. Everybody out front, I don't know, something was big was going on at the comic book store. Comics are getting popular again. Yeah, yeah. I personally always been popular with me. Well, well I bet you already know. Yeah. Because, yeah, because yeah, I stopped. Before I was in the truth, I was a huge comic book fan. I got all my wisdom and knowledge reading Warlock and Thanos books. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> they make a big deal out of Thanos. Well, yeah, Jim Starlin created. Th it was one of my favorite writers. Was Jim Starlin? I got a video on YouTube called. Oh, I seen that. Yeah. Uh, I forgot who that was that drew that. There's a bunch of them. It looks like a I was watching. Art too. I was watching the George Perez when he was saying it might have been George Perez. There's some goddamn like Muslims right here. Yeah, hey, look again, a goddamn Muslim on camera. He's fucking heathen, man. You know, according to the Bible, all you Muslims are getting put to death. Everywhere you look at a goddamn Muslim, okay? Muslims are fucking heathen. And the Lord going to kill all of you, okay? Y'all getting put to death. That bunch of whole goddamn gaggle fucking Muslims just walked by. Shit, ISIL was putting all them Christians to death yeah, over there. they chopping their heads off. So that's going to come back on you faggots, man. Even though they and they got all their weapons for the United States government. Fuck yeah. So a uh, Muslim ain't nothing but a fucking heathen. That's what a Muslim is, is a heathen. A piece of shit, okay? A motherfucking piece of shit, a, 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 a puddle of diarrhea. Right. They ain't gonna be none of that shit in the kingdom. They gonna know who the true power is in the kingdom, but they gonna be shown. That's why you gotta let these Muslims know. You guys talk shit to their face. I don't give a fuck. We'll come out here all boldness and call a Muslim a heathen right to their fucking face. And dare them to do something about it. They ain't gonna do a goddamn thing, okay? Cause we are prophets in the most high, we got angels protecting us. They know we're gonna fuck with us. Giving them time and place whereby they might be delivered from their malice. With how great circumstances did thou judge thine own son, which in whose fathers thou hast sworn and made covenants of good promises. Therefore, whereas thou dost chasten us, thou scourgest our enemies a thousand times more, to the intent that when we judge, we, we, are, we are the judges of the earth. Okay. To the intent that when we judge, we should carefully think of thy goodness, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy. Right. We're supposed to judge each other. If you love your brother, you're right, supposed to correct him. That's why you got a book in the Bible called the Book of Judges. You dumb assholes. People always gonna try to say, only God can judge me. It's in the actual fucking law of Leviticus we can judge. Yeah, we're commanded to judge. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm going to get there. I'm going to finish reading that. Yeah, that's the whole book of Leviticus. Yeah, it's specified, though. I just don't like it. Okay. We should carefully think of thy goodness, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy. Wherefore, whereas men have lived 
Oh yeah, we judge righteous judgments too. We don't judge like we're hypocrites. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like that uh, scripture says in Matthew, you can't be correcting somebody if you're doing the same thing your damn self. Yeah. It was a Jedi Knight. Another goddamn Muslim. Look, another motherfucking Muslim. Okay. See, but none of y'all got a problem with all these Muslims walking around. Here the Muslims want to kill you, and they immigrating Muslims to this country by the millions. And you stupid ass people have no problem with fucking Muslims walking around. Okay, a Muslim is a motherfucking heathen and deserves to be put to fucking death. And that's it. And that's what they're going to get. When the Lord gives us power, oh, if you calling yourself a Muslim, you're getting put to death. They're going to put us to death, they're getting put to death. They're over there killing our... Uh, Killing uh, the Christians over there in, in the Middle East as we speak, chopping their fucking heads off, lining them up, chopping their heads off. What the fuck you think they want to do over here? They ain't gonna do shit over here. America's gonna be destroyed anyway. You know what I'm saying? So America's gonna be destroyed, and then the Lord's gonna come back. He's gonna set up the kingdom. There ain't gonna be no more goddamn Muslims. There ain't gonna be no fucking Hindus. There ain't gonna be no more goddamn America. No more Democrats or fucking Republicans. None of that shit. Oh, my fault. Look, where is we at? Okay. Wherefore, whereas men have lived dissolutely and unrighteously, thou hast tormented them with their own abominations. For they went astray very far in the ways of error. In the ways of error. Oh. We got a lot of our people calling themselves Muslims. Because back in the ancient world, all people would go uh, and worship the gods of the, uh, of the Philistines or the Phoenicians. You know what I'm saying? They will worship Molech and Asherah. But these days, now our people cling to um, Islam. Now they cling to Buddhism. They cling to uh, Hinduism. Talking about, I gotta go do some yoga, baby. That's some heathen shit, okay? Only a goddamn heathen goes and does some goddamn yoga. And look, as soon as I say he yoga, a goddamn Hindu walk by. Fucking Hindu Elamite piece of shit. Walk right by me as soon as I spoke about yoga. That's why the spirit of the Most High works. Okay, the Most High's eyes is upon the simple kingdom. See that nigga in that car? Nah. I, I ain't pay no attention to his ass. Car full of pieces of shit. But they gonna get pulled over, and I hope they get, get their ass get done just like Michael Brown got done. The Lord, the Lord deals with that shit. Just, too. The That's most, the beauty of this truth. The most, yeah, the Most High gonna do his ass. Just like your boy from IUIC got done. You see your boy from uh, Israel United oh, Christ? Why? He went up to the cops. Woo. That proves the most I ain't with the motherfuckers. Mm. He went up to the cops with a, with a knife. Talking about shoot me, shoot me. So guess what? They shot his ass. They shot him like seven times. until I gotta count the shots. I gotta watch the video count how many times they shot him. Each cop shot him six times each. Oh, was that what it was? In front of the store that was called Six. Six, six, six. That's what, yeah, this happened two weeks after they killed that nigga Mike Brown in Price. Barabbas. Same city. That's Barabbas. Same city. Well, you know, out there crying for this motherfucker. He's a no good piece of shit. Who the fuck goes up to a cop with a knife? He out your fucking mind? Yeah. But what? It's called cop by suicide. Yeah. Suicide by cop. Yeah. Suicide by cop. Because yeah. that's just. They probably told him, like, oh, we in this time when all the intentions on cops kill nobody, they ain't gonna be too aggressive on you. You know, they probably, they probably puffed him up. They probably did. Set his ass up. He's probably retarded. Mm -hmm. His mom looked half goddamn retarded. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, right. you know, he was retarded. Wearing a pink shirt. Yeah, wearing a pink shirt, man. Who can fuck up with that? Yeah, only Esau wear a pink shirt, man. Well, that's not true. That faggot ass rapper Cameron, he made wearing pink popular. Talking about that shit's gangster. There ain't nothing gangster about wearing pink, okay? Unless you're a girl. Girls ain't supposed to be gangster. <laughs> ain't nobody supposed to be a gangster. I just want you to turn me on. I hate the sound of that shit, man. What? Tupac was big with them bitches on his rapper records, man. Talking like they all hard. But that's shit. how he sold his records, by you know, singing to the bitches. Yeah, what's that one song? Fucking uh, Hold Your Head Up, that fucking faggot shit. Now you head. wonder why they call me you and my bitch. girlfriend. Oh, me and I was talking me about his dear mama. Talking about his his gun. I was talking about his gun. Nah, that was him and his girl. Oh, his, no, that was it. Oh, you're girl right. Was that was, was that's right. You're right. You're right. That, ugly, that bitch was in the song with him. Yeah, know, yeah. I remember. That, that Machiavelli. Yeah. You know how they talk. 
you know, yeah. trying to sound hard. Yeah, that is not worse. You me and you, you know, how they, that annoying sound. That's when I hear that bitch, uh, Nicki Minaj. I hate that bitch, I man. I never, ever heard nothing that she's on. It's terrible. I'm trying to hear that shit, man. She sound like a clown. I'm trying to hear that shit, man. She sound like a silly-ass, dumb-ass bitch, <laughs> man. I ain't trying to hear that shit. The right, Lord ain't right, trying to right, hear that right, shit. Right, right. The Lord ain't with your rap music. The Lord ain't with none of this bullshit music, man. There ain't no, ain't no more good music come out of America, no way. Ain't, ain't no more Motown, okay? Ain't no more blues. That shit all got cut the fuck off. You see what happened to Motown? Look at Detroit. It's a goddamn barren wasteland. They got lions running wild. <laughs> they, they, everybody's getting their water shut off. There's your Motown, motherfucker. They about to go do some yoga right there. They started cutting people's water off again. That's good. I hope all y'all's water gets cut off. I hope y'all fucking die of thirst and starvation. Got that yoga mat. See, that's coming soon. Cannibalism's coming to America soon. Soon ain't gonna be no food in the stores and y'all gonna eat each other. It's gonna be like The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead, that's a that's a metaphor. Those zombies are you. You're the zombies. Why do you think there's so many zombie movies out? That's a metaphor for you stupid ass people. Okay, that's a fact. Because the elite, the people who control the music industry song with the so-called two, they look at all you like you're pieces of shit. Well, what you are. Here you go. Second answer is 16 to 22. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Well, you know that apocryphal though. Boy, he cut out all the scriptures out of the apocrypha. He can cut people with the apocrypha all day. Well, don't you need it. You know what I mean? <laughs> man, I get a scripture. He said, that's the famine's coming. Oh, you can't escape the famine. That's not the one I want. Jeremiah, it's a real good one in Jeremiah. Uh, I think it's in 17. Well, I get it, hold up. Um, for they went astray very far in the ways of their error and held them for God, which are even among the beasts of their enemies were despised, being deceived as children of no understanding. Ch like they little children. Like we constantly call these women children, which they have the mind of a child. That's what. That's why a woman is supposed to be under constant supervision. If she's not, she's gonna cheat on you. She's gonna have sex with another man. Men. Or men. But I bet it's not her fault. That's uh. That's just the nature of a woman. She's weak. She. she a woman. She is. She ain't as strong-willed as a man. That's just facts, man. Just like children. You take. You have. Right, you just have like kids. We have kids. You, you can, take your kids to the store, especially down the toy aisle, they always want something, always want something, always want something new. Constantly. That's yep. how these women are. Once a new man. Plus, it's always easy to trick children into believing crazy ass stories. Like Santa Claus. You got a bunch of little kids that you they'll ask them, you ain't tricked me. I knew Santa Claus was bullshit from the start. <laughs> but you could uh you got another car full of muscles. Motherfucking Muslims everywhere you fucking look, man. I pray the Lord kills these motherfuckers, man. I, I just get, I, I can't take it, dude. Too much. Here you go. Therefore, unto them, as to children without the use of reason, thou didst send them a judgment to mock them. A <laughs> oh yeah, so that, we out here mocking fools. We we curse people out. We use bad words. I'll call, call people motherfuckers, pieces of shit. Call them a faggot right to their face. The Lord said we got mocking them. It's the, actually, it's the Lord mocking them. But they, they can't get past your language and, 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 and totally ignore the message. That's good, that though. They ain't for them anyway. That's good, because that's why I, you ain't going to see me try to make a video where I never curse. I'm going to curse even more. But they that would not be reformed by that correction, wherein he dallied with them, shall feel a judgment worthy of the Most High. A judgment worthy of the Most High. So the judgment, what's the judgment for being an adulterous ass fucking slut? It's death. Here comes another Jedi Knight. Look, this is Muslim Central. I'll tell you, it's like goddamn Saudi Arabia out this motherfucker, man. Every day is getting worse 
getting worse. It's getting worse than London. I thought London had it bad. Oh, it's, it's gonna be like that here soon. That they're gonna just start dropping their prayer rugs up in the middle of the fucking street. Okay? So being a Muslim is a goddamn abomination. The Lord is going to kill and destroy all Muslims. Okay? Because Allah is Satan. Okay? Muhammad is a faggot. A uh, child molester. A punk ass bitch. And you can't do shit about it. This ain't no goddamn Saudi Arabia. Okay? Now, well, we, ain't, we ain't gonna be nice to you Muslims. When we see a Muslim, we gonna call you a heathen right to your fucking face. Jews the one behind all this immigration. You know, you know, uh, half the goddamn Congress are Jews or Edomites. You know, a lot of them have dual U.S. Israeli citizenship. Did you know that? As many people in Congress and the Senate, they have dual U.S. and uh, Israeli citizenship. And so, so they go is they gonna flood America with heathens and Muslims on purpose just to keep everybody divided. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go, they get all these Muslims, they flourish over here, bro. They all have businesses. Every goddamn store you see is owned by a fucking piece of shit Muslim or a goddamn Hindu. Okay, a Hindu's a goddamn heathen. Okay, a piece of shit. Okay, we ain't got no respect for no Muslims or no goddamn Hindus and none of them fake Jews. All right, y'all going into slavery. According to the Holy Bible, you're going to bow down to the God of Israel. You gonna lick the dust off our feet? Hey, give me Isaiah 60 and uh, hold on, I don't know where it's at. 60 and something, 14 maybe. Corridor? Hold on a second. I'm getting the spirit. I can't remember the scripture. I don't know what scripture I'm doing. Go to 10. You know where it's at? Oh, no, no, that's not it. oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's starting to Woo wee. Isaiah 60 and 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall. And oh, you see that? The sons of the strangers shall build up our wall. So all these so-called Jews, you Muslims, you Hindus, you Edomites, in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to be our slaves. Okay, you're going to bow down, you're going to lick the dust off our feet, and we're going to rule the earth with a rod of iron. There ain't going to be no more goddamn Muslims. There ain't going to be no more motherfucking Hindus. If you talking that Muslim shit, you'll get put to death and we're going to chop your fucking head off. Go and, ahead. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee. So in my wrath... Oh uh, yeah, so the king of Saudi Arabia, he going to bow down. He going to lick the dust off our feet. What's that faggot that's in charge of the state of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu? He, he's going to be our slave. He's going into slavery. Him and his little babies, his children, their little devil children, they all going into slavery under the true nation of Israel. The we the real Israelites. Those devils over there in the state of Israel, they're not the real Jews. Okay, because first of all, Jesus was a black man. So if Jesus was black, and there ain't a single black person over there. How can they be Jews? That don't make no goddamn sense. Read that again, bro. Uh, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee. But in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gate... Yeah, well, the Bible said I, uh, the Lord going to have mercy on Jacob. He didn't say he's going to have mercy on Esau or Ishmael. It didn't say that. Keep on. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may be bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. They are going, all the Muslims are going to perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. Right, so we're going to take, we're we going to, like, these heathens come over here, 
they set up shopping on neighborhoods. Why well, come you go up in every black neighborhood and there's fucking Muslims and all the businesses? They don't they don't live in that neighborhood. But they going in there and they selling you pork. And here it is, Muslims don't even eat pork, but they'll sell it to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and they sit taking all your money. And then they'll uh they'll, they'll uh turn on women into whores like all, cause all, all women are fucking sluts anyway, they're all whores. Yeah, they'll go into the store. If they want to get a Lucy, she'll have to suck the motherfucking Muslim's dick, and he'll give her a pack of cigarettes. And all the Muslims, they all selling drugs out in stores too. You go up there and ask for. They give you dime sacks, twenty sacks. They selling heroin, crack. crack. Uh, oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. Hey, you know shit. Like, no doubt about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Look at these motherfuckers. <laughs> what the fuck just passed by us? <laughs> I have no clue. Hey, what's the primary religion with those uh, Koreans and... Well, a lot of Koreans believe in the Bible. Uh, no, no, uh, no. Uh, yeah, there's some Israelites over there. Uh, there's a, I watched a documentary on Christian Koreans. <laughs> They, they persecute the hell out of them in North Korea. They kill you, throw you in a death camp. Yeah, they uh, got that one American locked up for yeah, years because he had a Bible in North Korea. Yeah, but it mostly, uh, Buddhism is the biggest thing over there. And then in Japan, you got Shintoism. Shit, there, there Shinto, you that's Japan. They worship yeah. animals and shit. But the Japanese, they don't believe in shit, man. They believe in video games and technology. That's their religion. Yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? You need some serious fucking apostles to go up in Japan and lay down some hardcore truth to, to the Jakes over there. There's all kind of Israelites in Japan. You know what I'm saying? But how you get to the gospel to them, that's a whole nother story. We got to find brothers that can speak that shit. I guess missiles got to go over there. Yeah, they're going to have to get missiles. They have to. They're going to purify that shit with fire. They're they just going to have to come back. The island's not going to exist no more anyway. The Lord done fucked up Japan so many times, it's not funny. I mean, they got the shit abused out of them. They got atomic bombs dropped on their ass. Currently, the, 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 the uh, radiation is eating them up. Yeah, they get... Uh, Futurama, what's that called? Futurama, Futurama. Uh, uh, that nuclear site, that uh, nuclear plant, that earthquake. Yeah, uh, that Fukushima. Fukushima. That shit probably they fucked them up more than the nuclear bomb did. Still getting to a minute, man. The most high is very displeased with them motherfuckers. Shit, yeah, the Jap yeah, the Japanese are the ones who brought us the shit steak. They actually take all the shit from the sewers, they extract all the proteins out of it, add a little flavoring, you know what I'm saying? And, they and got it, it down to an, a science. <laughs> got it down to a little... And you, you, the video's on YouTube. Ain't like we're making it up. It's on YouTube. You can actually, you know, you can see them eating it and everything. They say that's the way... But it's down to a science. They got it, like, when they add chemicals to it. <laughs> Just like they do our meat here, they add chemicals to it. What? Half sodium, rock, uh, dioxide. Plus all the antibiotics they feed the animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and making bologna is a fucking science experiment. Uh, bologna? Don't hot ever dogs. eat. Hot dogs and bologna ain't nothing but pig nuts, motherfucking uh, bones. bones, tongues, ears. Just everything. Every, every, just, they just squish it all together, man. Whatever. All the leftovers on the floor, squish it up with a squeegee, throw it in a big old batter. Sell that to your ass. So you don't know what you eat, man. Say. Eyeballs. Eyeball, yeah, eyeballs, guts, oh. intestines, all that's in bologna, bro. Mm. All that. And that's what they used to feed me when I was a little child. Because you eat a piece of bologna. You're going to take it. There's a, a bone always in it. It's always a rough piece, man. That's always. A, it's always made out of pork, too. Mm -hmm. Unless you get that, you know, turkey bologna or whatever. Don't trust that. I don't trust none of that shit. Oh, I'm a vegetarian. Even the no turkey pain. sausage has fucking pig guts around it. What is it? The the casing for turkey sausage. Oh yeah, they trick you on turkey sausage. Yeah, because the casing, what well, they call it a casing, which means it's a pig intestine. You know what a sausage is, right? It's some pork. And they take the the, 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 the pig meat and they stuff it inside the pig's intestine. That's that little white wrapper on the sausage, his intestine. That's where, you know, the pig was shitting out of. And then people eat it up, bro. It don't matter because hey. pigs live off nothing but garbage and trash anyway. Let me get that scripture real quick. They got another name for it, too. It don't always say pork cake. It has, uh, 
uh, what's the other name? Uh, um, um, I'm not even sure. Uh, this was another, it's a code name, you know. Just yeah. To, so, because you know, some, some, some of the nations of Islam got on to reading the label. But well, that's, that's all. So just got, got around that too. That's the, the only reason the Muslims don't eat pork is because it was in the Bible first. Okay, because people are y'all Muslims. That's in the Bible. You right. fucking hate Muslims. You want to kill them. You know what I'm saying? But let me read it real quick and we'll get back to that. Just okay. to, because I see the sister listening. <laughs> Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. You didn't know swine is pig. This is in the Bible. Okay. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. But in America, the kingdom of Satan, what's the main dish? It's pork. The most popular food is pepperoni pizza. Bratwurst. Pork words. chops. Yeah, pork chops. Bacon. Ham sandwiches, bacon. They, they say the ideal uh, breakfast is bacon and eggs. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and the devils, the so-called Jews, the one who owns all these butcher shops, they're the ones who own all the grocery stores. They don't eat pork, you know what I'm saying? But they know, they, they try to defile us. When they, they are defiling us. Because they think, because they Edomites, they think they can get their promise back if they get Jacob to defile the shit out of themselves. You know, they, they, they think, they actually think if they can get Jacob to totally turn against the Most High, that they can receive their promise back. Here you go. This is Luke 6 and 46. For those that call yourself Christians, it's still much so important. Then why call ye me Lord, Lord? And do not the things which I say. The Lord said not to eat pork. He said don't eat pork. Don't eat shrimp. Shrimp has arsenic in it. It can kill you. Shrimp. Yeah. Well, if you eat pork, you're going to get fat. You're going to have a heart attack and drop dead. I'm So eat away. But everybody says you are what you eat. Sacks that beauty out of that woman. Yes, it does. It really do. Luke 6 and 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? That's why we call them fake preachers, pork chop eating preachers. All these preachers in the churches teach you you can eat whatever you want. He said the Lord didn't call anything unclean. Mm. That's why he's going to get put to death and his whole family with him. Mm. That's a major sin, actually. That's a major heavy sin. That's something the Lord really hates. Oh yeah, get back to the Isaiah if you can, or you got something okay, else. Okay. Yeah, I kind of got sidetracked there for a minute. I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflict thee. This is Leviticus. The sons also of them afflict thee. Was it starting with the Edomites and chief house of Esau, the so-called Jew? They're the main ones afflicting us. Okay. Now read that again. Isaiah 60 and 14. The sons also of them that afflict thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. All right, so all them Edomites, they're going to bow down to the soles of our feet. All them Muslims, they're going to bow down. Unless they're Israelites and the Lord wake them up to the truth. You're going to kill them first. You know what I'm saying? Bring them back in the reincarnation. Because you got a lot of our people scattered among them heathens. A lot of them, uh, you got a lot of them jihadists over there waging jihad. A lot of them might actually be Israelites. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. They're going to have to die first. And they're going to have to come back in the reincarnation. Because once you get caught up in the jihad, you ain't coming back from that shit. They're going to believe in that goddamn Islam until the day they die. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's going to have to happen. The Lord's going to have to kill them. They want some little boy pearls. They don't deny pearls. that. All the Muslims, they don't even know they the Quran. They can deny because I just pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, thanks for this technology.